Welcome back, ladies and gents. This is Chelsea the Weave, doctor located in Bowie, Maryland. Today, we will be um, talking about coloring services and receiving coloring services at our hair salon. This is a very big topic, and sometimes it has a lot of different variables that are involved with receiving um, coloring. Coloring, um, every time that you try to color hair, color has a natural damaging effect on the hair because it is chemicals. The, the, um, the hair dye that, that we use to normally lift the colors has sodium hydroxide, and that is very alkaline. Anytime you put anything that is alkaline based on your hair, it will swell the hair shaft and lift up the current shaft so that anytime that you do this, it will cause the hair to be more frizzy, more drier, and um, things of that nature. So pretty much, uh, color, we're making this video just to educate clients on coloring. And even though um, a lot of people want colorings, we just want to address and let people know that there are downsides of coloring. Sometimes coloring can loosen the curl pattern. It can slightly thin out strands, the original thickness. So sometimes, so if you want to get a custom unit or if you want to get an install that has color, that is very high lift. And when I say high lift, anything that is above, um, you know, like the natural medium browns, if you want to start going into the golden blondes, the reddish blondes, pretty much like a number 30 or 27, this is when you can start to experience these type of difficulties with color. Um, but, you know, we are the weed doctors and the hair musicians, so we know how to uh, counteract these types of problems. Some of the things that I suggest for clients to do is to make sure that you order hair that is the thickest density, just in case if it does thick, thin out slightly or, um, you know, more than what you expect, that you still will get the natural desired fullness. Also, after you do receive your color, we have um, different treatments options available, uh, you know, that, that helps rebuild the bonds of the hair and to put protein back in, in the hair. And many of our clients, when they first get the color services on the first, um, during the first one to two visits, sometimes even three visits, the hair appears very uh, more dry. And so by, when you have this problem, you have to just keep making sure you're putting the right amount of nutrients and protein building bonds back into the hair because with the color, we have stripped it out and we have lifted to a more brighter um, color. And we have all those treatments available at the salon. Uh, we have one in particular is a, um, a outstanding reconstructor bond um, rebuilder. And it ranges pretty much anywhere from $85 to $125 for this service. But it helps to make any type of dry, brittle hair, helps to transform it. And we also have a, a wonderful um, conditioner, leave-in conditioner that comes with it. And that's another thing. When you're doing high lift color, sometimes the actual hair itself, the curl pattern can loose, can loosen. So that is something else to keep in mind, which for some people that's good, but for, well, for others that could uh, be a problem. So that's why we were telling you about this. Oh, and, and then the last thing, you know, the reason why we're making this video, because we have had over the years, this is probably one of the biggest issues that we've had, or just back and forth with different clients about these particular situations. Um, the, the last thing is that I know a lot of people that sometimes would like to, anytime you're doing high lift color, and that's again, is anything that's like around a 30 or 27, anything past a medium brown, sometimes you have to perform multiple coloring processes. And every time you do this, you are stripping the hair of its protein and it's causing it to be more dry. So people who do this, um, you need to understand it's going to be drier. And also it takes, you know, you might see Beyonce on the, uh, on the magazine or I'm trying to think someone else, Sierra or one of the real housewives of Atlanta, that you see them with their beautiful colored tresses. However, you do not know that their hairstylist was in the hair factory all day long. Sometimes if you're going from any a, a natural dark brown, which most of the hair weaving, hair, hair weaving extension pieces come, like a natural 1B, sometimes even a 1 with certain Asian companies or Indian and, um, you know, rare, rare cases, maybe a 2 or 4. So when you're coming with these very natural dark brown, we have to lift this color several times. And the hair itself, every time that you lift it, with a regular highlighting solution, generally you can easily go about four to five levels up with no problems. But anytime that you do the high lift, it takes multiple times. So in air, and that's an additional service, every lift that you do. So, you know, the standard rate for some of our, you know, we have some highlights, like we call them the peekaboo highlights. That might just be, you know, maybe just like partial, you know, just like in the crown area, maybe just on the sides. And, uh, oh, look at our hair, honey. 
This is our beautiful Tahitian pearl unit and it has um, some of our thin lace and we put it up in a cute little top knot in the back. Anyways, back to the discussion. So when you when we're doing, um, it takes multiple times to um, go through color. There, it, I, I believe there are 14 or 13 steps on the coloring system. So 14 may be like palest blonde. And to get to these high lift colors, you we have we are pretty much you know we're, we're we're performing plastic surgery on your hair. We're taking something that is very highly pigmented, which is like a number level one or two, which is the basic the um, regular amount of the hair extension that you normally buy. And we are altering it all the way to high lifting blondes into that. So, in, you know, so this is a process and it is expensive process. So um, and we call it a double processing. And sometimes the hair after it is double processed, it has to be toned. So and then it ends up coming like a three step or sometimes four step process. So these are very extensive coloring services. Some people call it color correcting or, you know, we're doing high, very high lift on these um on some of these extensions. So pretty much when you're getting coloring services, we ask the client that, you know, nothing is going to be picture perfect. And, you know, this process is like, you know, it's like, I guess it's almost like, you know, how I know I, I wish Michael Jackson the best, but it's like bleaching your skin from a dark chocolate all the way to a, you know, looking like an, an Asian with the, I know that might be a funny, <laughs> you know, um, example, but, just the process, I, I'm just trying to help you explain this. You we, you are pulling, you know, with that bleaching process, they are taking out the melanin in their skin. And our hair is made is made out of melanin. And um, it is produced, you know, in our cortex and medulla, part of the hair strand. So when we are doing this, you know, we are, we are getting involved in some chemistry here. And as good as I am, I cannot be chemistry. You know, this is the way that the creator made these things. This is how our hair was created. We have a lot of different bonds. And sometimes but depending on the um, different sources where we um, buy the hair, hair color varies in the texture, the coarseness. And when you get involved with all the fine, trying to dye fine hair versus trying to dye coarse hair, it all plays a part in the processing and the lift and how fast the hair will lift and how resistant the hair can be when trying to lift. So there are a lot of variables. So we just want to, um, you know, educate our clients and let them know that this is a process when we're doing this color. And also another thing, um, you know, if you want to get a high lift, you know, it depends on the type of quality. You know, if you have a low grade Brazilian, we do have a diva Brazilian hair that we offer at the salon. That one is not the best sometimes for the frontals or for like, you know, like the you know, even the hair that's in the back, the frontals definitely sometimes do not lift as high as the hair that's in the back. So, you know, when you're doing these types of processes, you just have to keep that in mind. That hair generally does not go past 1130. So if you want to get another 27, you might have to try our pure raw hair, totally unprocessed Brazilian hair. I know there's a lot of misconceptions out on the market. It is processed hair. Sometimes it has different type of blends that come with it. So, you know, for high lift, color. And when we say high lift again, just reiterating anything that's pretty much a level eight or seven and up. You know, when you start to get into the very, um, you know, the different shades of blonde and auburn. So, um, so that's a suggestion when you're looking for the most highest lift color, make sure that you purchase the best quality hair so that you can get your, the brightest results. And, you know, without the least amount of drying and processing by, you know, doing the multiple process on the hair. And I found sometimes people that try to get platinum blonde on lower quality hair, it just does not happen. And it's, it's um, you know, even when we receive from the factory, it tells us that this hair does not lift past level number 30, which is like an auburn. So if you're looking for like platinum or like very golden blonde, um, Beyonce type of Sierra, you who know, whoever they have out there, you know, who wears the very high lift blondes, then you need to invest in a higher quality hair. And also... You know, in some cases, I suggest to just purchase um, the hair outright from your stylist or me. And they have the 613 hair now. So the 613 is like platinum. So instead of us, start, so it's pretty much instead of us working backwards. So that's that's what we're doing. You know, when we go from level one all the way to 10 or 12, trying to reach those high, high left blondes. You know, it's a lot of work and damage that occurs with the hair and reconstructing to get it back to the original state or as close as possible. So sometimes it's better to just start off 
at the 613, which is like a platinum level hair, which might be like maybe a level 13 or 14 on the hair scale. Remember what I was talking about earlier. So that the hair is already lifted. And these hair companies, they have a way of, um, uh, you know, especially the wholesalers, they have a way with the 613 hair. It's already um, boosted to, they have a special method of making it blonde while keeping the bonds intact without making it be too fragile. So, you know, I think it's good. Sometimes that's another suggestion to just purchase the light, light, light hair and then have your stylist. They can go over and tone it. They can add different dimensions and biolage with, you know, do, adding low lights. And I mean by low lights, acting darker hair throughout the roots and throughout um, various parts, seconds of the hair to tone down the brightness because not everybody wants to be a full out, you know, platinum blonde. But I hope this information was helpful for you today. And I hope that this will, um, you know, just help you make the best decision when it comes to your hair extensions and when receiving coloring services. Thank you so much for your time and hope that you have a great day.